Hey everyone, it's Claire. Welcome back to another Web Dev Wednesday. Today we are continuing with our introduction to essential HTML elements and we are moving on to images. So this is our image tag, which is just shortened to IMG within your HTML. And this is the basic anatomy of your image tag. This here is your source attribute. And right in here is where you put the path to the image itself. So you're telling, you're telling the browser, hey, go here, find this image. And this is the other part of your image tag that I would say is very important to include. And that's the alternate text. So if for some reason the browser doesn't load the photo or you know if you need to make your page accessible to someone who can't see as well, your, al your alternate text is going to display when they hover over that. Or you can use CSS to tell the browser what to do with that alt text. And then there, there are just two other parts um, to the image tag that I would consider um, talking about when we're just get, getting started. And those are widths and heights. So you can tell the browser how big to display an image regardless of how big the source is. So let's build a little page. Here's some code. I'm going to introduce you or whoever's using this page to the iconic Sims family, the goths. And before we have our images in, I'll just show you, I've put a little H1 tag and then little sections. We're just going to upload some images here. And if we go into the folder for this image site, you'll see the image.html file that we are working with in brackets. And then there's a folder called images. And in here, these are the images that we're going to use. So we go back into brackets. And in Mortimer's section, we're putting an image tag. And the image tag is one that does not have opening and closing. It's just standalone with one. You don't have to close it. So our source is in our images folder and it's called mortimer.jpg. And we're gonna put in some alt text as well. Mortimer goth. And we're just gonna repeat this for each member of the goth family. And they are all in that images folder, which is a good practice when building a website to have all of your images in one place. So we'll save this and then refresh our page and see how our images turn up. They are huge. So as you can see, we're gonna to need to use our width and height to make them all relatively the same size. And you'll also notice that when you enter an image, it automatically goes to the next line because they are block style images. And when we get to talking about CSS, we'll talk, to, talk about block versus inline elements and then you can have greater control over where on your page your image is displayed and how it relates to the elements around it. But for now, we're just gonna focus on our HTML and we're just gonna make these all the same width. And I believe it will auto correct to be the same shape as if you just change one either width or height. So typically what I would do is just make them all the same like height. Let's do, and I think I need to do this in um, quotes like this too, but we're gonna make everything 250 pixels high just so we don't have huge and odd shaped images on our page. So we're gonna put that all the way through, save it. And then you can see now they're all relatively the same size and they cute. All right, everybody, that is actually all we need to talk about when introducing the image tag. And we will, I think, move on to CSS next so we can talk about inline and block and how to style things on your page. Cause as cute as the goths are like, this isn't the cutest page. All right, but anyway, thanks for tuning in this week, you guys, and I will see you all next week.